kommentators gaan rol. Ek wil julle net welkom by hierdie jaar se meneer en mevrou Campus 2020 online. En met trots dat ek julle voor aan julle MC's vir vanaand. Lees aan met die rooie hore en Erasmus. Hi, ek's Lisa, my die rooie hore. Hallo en ek is Erasmus. En welkom by NBI Potjesvrooms se meneer en mevrou Campus 2020. Yay! Ek is so opgewonde, ek het so my fondse borrel wijn gebruik. Yes, kind darlik vir ons. And we are live from Black Orchid in Potjesstroom. If you are in Potjesstroom, make sure to come here and come eat a slice of cake. Cool. Yes. So hier as ons, ek denk ons moet so lang die aand open met a cheers. Cheers. As jylle wijnkie het, daar sal kry vir jylle ook een. Kom drink sam met ons. As jy weet, lockdown, ek weet het is moeilik. Maar ek denk... Om een finalist te wees in hierdie tyd vir MMK, denk ek, is baie moeiliker. Ek denk ook so, maar voor ons by die finaliste kom, hierdie is hoe vanavond gaan verloop. So, ons het so een en oor vir julle bykie lichte vermaak, bykie kunstenaars, en ons gaan ook die judges bekendstel tussen en neer. Ja, ja, die judges, ek so vir ons excited, ek sien ons een paar interessante interessante mense, so ek denk... But you are also going to get to know them soon. Ja, I'm excited, and next up, It's the 20 it's finalists, the, yes. am I right, Lisa? It's a little recap of the 20 finalists. So what you are going to see is an, is an image of them and also a mini video of their specialized project. This project you can also find on MMK's Instagram page um, and all the contestants of, um, are there as well. So you can have a look there. Yes, and are that's you ready? that. So give it up to your 2020... <laughs> yes? <laughs> <laughs> to your top 20... Ja, daar was verseker. Wie? Mag jy sê nie? Mag sê my, sê my hiesel. Ek sal hulle nie sê nie. Ek sal hulle nou nou sê. En jy, Lisa, is daar enige iemand wat jou knie lam gemaakt het? Nee, ek gaan maar eerder net. Kom, ons blij net stil. Ons praat nie nou oor my nie. Ok, kom, ons praat eerder. Ja, hierdie gaan nie nou oor ons nie. Dit gaan oor die finaliste. Exactly. En oor die judges. So, hè. Kom ons daar vir julle die eerste judge van die aand bekend, Erasmus, take it away. Ek net gaan my phone nie uithaal. Yes, ok, dit is Kobus Routenbach. Kobus Routenbach, ok, cool. So, hy kom van Klerksdorp af, nie ver van Potje af nie. Stek jy aan die kant. Ja, en with an operational design studio and team that designs for bridal farewell and cocktail events. Dat is lekker. Hy het al vir Karleen van Jaarsveld. Ek het hier my bril op die lat, ek het gewoon sê. Leandie Durant, Mini Klamini, Armand Oukamp, 
Miss World Relin Strauss, come on. Ek soek een vrouw soos Relin Strauss. Oké, okay, maar kom, gaan aan. Oké, okay, um, <laughs> Yes, en hy het een quote gesê, I'm not held up with the world fashion, with mm. the word fashion, but I do, however, appreciate a well-dressed individual with a touch of personal style. Ek sê hem, Sam. Cheers op Cheers op Cheers op Judge nummer 1. Lekker. En nou, as jylle kort breek van ons gezichten wil hee, hier is Tasha, wat op die contract was, met een lekker liekie net vir jylle. Jy, jy, jy! Sien jylle binnenkort! Moenie kwaad, gesloop nie dinge nie, ek praat nie, is nooit te laat nie wees die minder as jy moet kry jy so alles wat jy soek die uitsondering die een van die soort wie vriende na opkyk en bid het was so ek sê jou nie is my nie die story boek einde die stoep waar we ons altyd gepraat het is waar ons laaste as ons gelaat het kan ons nie te bekie hoog bring die uitsondere allemaal om ons einde geen vereer ek syn nog maar ek soek jy is my Sal ek seker maak ek hier Alles en nog baie meer Die het sonder ek Die een van die soort Wie vriende na opkyk en bid het versoor Ek sê jou nie is my nie die story Boek hy nie die stoep Waar oor ons altyd gepraat het is waar ons laaste as ons gelaat het kan ons nie te bekie oorbring die uitsondere as ek huil dan troos jy altyd daar recht langs my dit is waar jy moet bly jy kan maak My hart kry droom Vinnig in jou saak En moet nooit om weg laat raak Die het sonder ek Die een van die soort Wie vriende na opkyk en bid het versoor Ek sê jou nie is my nie die story Boek einde die stoep Waar oor ons altyd gepraat het Is waar ons laaste as ons gelaat het Kan ons nie te bekie oorbring Die uitsondere You're enchained by your own sorrow Check it out, tell me what you write It's lively song Dankie vir die ene kameraman. Hoi en welkom terug, dit was dan net Tasha met die uitsondering. Jy weet, jy is een uitsondering, Lisa. Och, dankie hier as vir. Jy is een uitsondering soos hier die volgende top 5 kandidate. Is dit daai tyd? Oh god. It's time, it's that time of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Cool, so we are now going to announce the top 5 finalists of the men and of the ladies. Ek is ek so doen. I'm a bit stressed, I don't know, ek hou nie daarvan as hulle so sikke goed moet aankondig nie. Ek voel altyd slecht vir die persoon wat toonigste is, want ons altyd iemand wat laaste is. Soos byvoorbeeld met my in school, as ek moes gaan reesies haarkloop, was ek altyd jy laaste. Ek slank en lomp en ek het nou nog emotionele, baie emotionele... Kom ons gaan aan! Cool, so, Erasmus, as jy reg is, gaan ons die top 5 finaliste aankomen. Ok, the first person in the top 5, in no particular order, is... I can't do it. 
Oh my gosh. Erasmus. Kom. Just kom, kidding, kom, just kom. kidding. Die okay. Die antwoord hee. Kom. In the first place. Nee. <laughs> yeah. It's Michaela Smith. Congratulations. <laughs> Dan Gernie Visser. Marika Hubert. Atang Swartboy. Toinette Barre. Johannes Venter. Kylie Potgieter. Matthew Smith. Whitney Farmer. En Marius van Rooyen. Woo! Woo! Congratulations to Chess Chess Chess! Yes, Chess 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 Is that a girl with you from now in the top five? Is that not? She's there and your um, yeah, yeah, boyfriend? I just see a boyfriend. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Come us, come us, brought here there where what's going to happen. Yeah, come us, brought new where we're going to live this year. It was my drug in lockdown. I don't know how much it is for someone to free me. I'm just right here dancing around to the rhythm, the rhythm that you play when you're breaking my heart. You know that I can't get you out of the system, get right from the start. You play with my heart, and I'll be singing la 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 la. You're breaking me la 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 la. You're breaking me la 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 la. Cool. So what's going to happen next? Okay, it's the one, one, one. We are going to ask the con the top five contestants one minute questions. Yes. And one, yeah, it's one question, one minute, and they only have one chance of doing it right. Yes, and then afterwards, the judges are going to rank them accordingly what they think the best answer was. And yeah, genoeg gepraat van dit. Wie is volgende judge? Um, let us kijk. This is a cash bucket. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's now Lady Radebe. <laughs> Okay, she's a lifestyle and fashion influencer, health activist, um, freelance fashion writer, host, and model. Ooh. Okay, so she's worked on a myriad national campaigns with Woolworths and collaborated with Puma, H&M, Kyle Apparel, Nasty Girl. Apparel. Apparel. Kyle Apparel. Ons kan nie Engels nie. Nasty Jill. <laughs> Pretty Line Thing and other fashion brands. Yes. Okay, now she's famous. She's lekker. Net soos hierdie wijn. Cheers op na lady! <laughs> okay, so die eerste persoon met die eerste vraag en antwoord is Gernie Visser. En Gernie, hier is jou vraag. So, what do you think is your purpose as Mr. Campus? En jou een minuut begin nou. So I believe the campus, uh, uh, Minister Campus should be the ambassador for the campus at events where the campus needs to be um, someone to represent the campus. I believe that is what the, the purpose is of the, the, the ambassador of the campus as Mr. and Mrs. Um, campus. So um, at events and uh, well, anything basically where there needs to be ambassador for the campus, that's where all will come in or, or the, the, the winner of the competition and he will be um, the face of the campus and represent the campus and he should also have the morals and the beliefs and the, and the um, he should he should uh, uh, deliver the will of the campus so yeah I believe or that's what I think and what I would try to accomplish should I be elected as the Mr. Campus Thank you Gerne, that was a very good answer Next up it's Matthew Smith and his question will be, if you had to convince anyone to take part in student life, what would you say? Uh, if I had to convince anyone to take part in student life, the first thing I would motivate them to do is to become part of it. Because student life is there to connect people. It's there to, make fellow, to have fellowship with others of your peers, people amongst you. So in order for you to connect with student life, you have to make those connections. Um, student life has taught me personally that I can reach beyond my color. I can reach beyond my, my, my limitations to meet people, other people that share the same um, passions that I do. And I think that's the main goal of student life, to connect with people that are around you and share, that share your vision, your goal, and ultimately where you want to go in life. People that will carry you for as long as you can within your life. People that will be there till the end. And that's the goal of student life. And that's how I would motivate anyone. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Like an answer. Now, the next question is on Atang Swartboy. And your question is: 
How will you make an actual impact on the lives of students if elected as Mr. Campus? I think firstly, it is just to make them know that you are really privileged to be in a university like the Northwest University. And then also just to create, um, to embed, embed the, the, the atmosphere that the Northwest University has been trying to create over the years. I think the most important thing when you come to Northwest University is the vibe you get from all the students, the sense of camaraderie and familiarity with one another. So I feel like if we can emphasize that point more, then we can have the, the social um, life that we all want to have, which will also benefit you academically as well. And if you are a sporting um, student, this atmosphere will help you to even work even harder to achieve the goal you want to achieve. And so that is how I would like to um, uh, do this. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next question will be going out to Johannes Fenter. What does making a difference mean to you as a potential next Mr. Campus? Okay, thank you for the question. Um, making a difference to me as the next Mr. Campus is um, taking advantage of the privileges that you get. So if you are put in a position where you can t make a difference, taking that opportunity and carrying out and carrying it out fully, um, doing the best that you possibly can with your with the opportunity that you've been given. And yeah, I can't. That's about it. Thank you, Johannes. Now, Marius van der Rooyen, here is your question. What obstacles do students face holding them back from success? And how will you do something about it as Mr. Campus? To me, um, the challenge that, that students face that may be holding them back can be that they are preoccupied with something else keeping them busy. They do not have the um, sufficient time, maybe, to um, go on with what they're trying to do. And I feel like that it um, sometimes for men so is that um, you have not enough help to help you with what you're trying to do. We are very thankful for what we can all give us, but there are times that people have a bit of help. Um, so for me, what I would like to do is encourage study groups. Um, let people be aware that they can call someone. I know we do have a helpline, but there's also like to put people more in contact, in contact with the um, other parties that can also help them. So I would believe that would help children or the, the other students a lot. Goeie werk, Kerels. Dit was goeie antwoorde. Ja, dankie aan al die mans finaliste. Ek denk hulle gaan moeilik wenner kies. Ja, nee, ek denk dit is nie makkelijk nie. Ek blij, ek is nie a judge. Ek, ek Okay, okay, so next up is it's a, the ladies' the screen, ladies. <laughs> questions. Yes. Okay, yes. so, yeah, are you ready? <laughs> okay, so first up is the question for Toinette Marais. And the question is, what makes a NWU PICA graduate different from any other university in South Africa? I feel that what makes the NWU um, PICA graduate so much different than other graduates is because we really have the opportunity to have a student life. So we do not only learn that um, the um, basic things you need on our education, but we also need, uh, we also learn to um, interact with a different type of um, diverse cultures and people. Um, and also we have the um, ability to, um, Thank you, Toinette. Now, on Whitney Farmer, here is your question. If everyone is unique, what makes you uniquely the ideal Miss Campus? So, I would say that Everyone is unique and everyone is special and that I'm not better than anyone in this competition. But I would say what makes me what makes me unique is the fact that I have a purpose and my purpose is to serve people, but not only people as a usual, but the ordinary student. 
as to be a voice to the ordinary student and the fact that I believe that is my purpose that sets me apart from the rest. Because everyone is unique, yes, but everyone is not privileged to have the same advantages as everyone. So I believe that I have to be the voice for the, for the ordinary student. And that's what makes me unique from, and sets me apart from the rest. Thank you, Whitney Farmer, for that answer. Next up, it's Marika Yubair, and her question is, if you don't leave this pageant with the Miss Campus title, what would you leave it with? Well, if I don't leave this pageant with the Miss Campus title, I most certainly will leave this journey with more self-confidence, with more, more content with myself, believing in myself, and I know that I made new friends, and I also inspired a lot of people during this journey to just unapologetically being yourself, taking chances, taking risks, and not allowing my insecurities to stand in the way of my dreams. Thank you, Marike. Now the next question is for Kaylee Potgieter, and Kaylee, your question is, what type of role model are you going to be that you wish you had when you were a first year student at the NWU Pick? I believe I'm going to be the type of role model that every girl single-handedly needs. I believe I'm a person that brings awareness and not only awareness, but empowerment to every single girl. And I believe that it is so important as a first year student to come on a journey that embarks you with so many possibilities. And I believe it is so important to realize your worth and to know your worth during the years. And I wish I had someone to know and to tell me you are worthy of so much more than just the choices that are in front of you, but the choices that you can create and you can also choose for yourself. I believe it is so important to be a role model, not only yourself, but have many role models as your friends, your guidance, and also the people you keep around you. And that is the type of role model and influence I want and want to be. Thank you. Thank you, Kaylee Potgieter, for that answer. Next up, it's Michaela Smith, and her question is, the last question, but not the least. Suppose you can change something on campus. What will it be and why? If there was something I could change on campus, it wouldn't be anything at all. I believe the campus is a values driven campus full of diversity and inclusivity. Truly the campus, it's not the campus that has to change. If anything has to change, it would be the mindset in our people. Um, I believe that we already have such a acceptable and inclusive um, um, campus and I think that is enough. <laughs> Thank you and all the girls and you're like your answer. Well done. Yes, I think it's just all Cheers, cheers. And now I'm going to make a little bit of 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 So, yeah, see you later. Wat is hoop, het is die wenst daar die son weer opkom. Hoop, wat is hoop, het is dat vrede by ons uitkom. Bring die hoop weer terug, daar is oorlog die pen in my. Het is vir jou wat in jou self beklaai, Ek sê vir jou, jy is goed genoeg So bring die hoop weer terug Jy is die licht in die donker gang Jy is die balken wat op die heuvel staan Ek sê nie mens wat jy nog kan wees So bring die Jy 
Reis die bak en wat op die heuvel sta Ek sien die mens wat jy nog kan wees So bring die hoog weer terug Bring die hoog weer terug Bring Thank you, Megan, for that entertainment. It was very lekker. Yes, I think I can so sing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, for the next judge, Erasmus. Who is uh, this? Is... Chad Meilhuizen. Yeah, ja, let me just my phone. Yeah, ja, but while you do it, let me just wait. Hey, where did you? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Chad Meilhuizen is an international model. The clients include Calvin Klein. Oh, I want a Calvin Klein model, but oh, in any case. Anyways. Armani, Levi, Gays, Nivea, and Chanel. Wow. He has been cast in over 150 TV commercials. Chad is also an ambassador of the Alzheimer's Essay and is the founder of the Alzheimer's Memorial Challenge. He has a deep passion for nutrition, f- functional... Can you read it? Alweer. I need my brill up, Thomas. Functional medicine and biohacking. His plan is to live forever. Same, may not work. Cheers, Chad. Cheers, up, Chad. <laughs> okay, lekker. En nou gee ons dit oor aan vast die spiller vir die bedankings van die aand. En Sinai Akker, die voorzitter van die... Hier die ding gaan nou op ons val, dames en heren. Maar gaan aan. Um, en die voorzitter, dankie cameraman, en ja. die voorzitter van secretaris-generaal. Cheers, okay. op hulle. Good evening, Lisa, Erasmus, and of course, all the viewers out there. With this year's Mr. and Miss Campus, we faced numerous challenges. We had to explore all the online platforms where we can stream the event, as well as find judges who were willing to judge this sort of event. And of course, we had to amend the judging criteria in order to ensure that each finalist received an equal opportunity to win the event. To think that we had no expenses during the course of this competition, Thanks to innovative thoughts, very hard work, hours of meetings, and my astounding talented team, we managed to bring you Mr. and Ms. Campus 2020 online. We worked with what we had, and thanks to an amazing group of finalists, we made this a huge success. I would like to thank my brilliant team for their hard work, dedication, and passion for this project, as well as the finalists for their positive attitudes, creative ideas, and the fact that they were willing to work alongside us during this exceptional times. I'm extremely proud of what we could achieve, even though it was challenging and it was a new environment. Thank you. Fear not, for I am with you, is our 41 verse 10. I will first thank you to our Himmelse Father, what it has made me for me to stand here today and to say that I am a student. But not only a student, but a pick. I can with trust say that MMK is my portfolio, but I have not done it alone. I will therefore thank you for my mere eco leader van the Secretaries General, what in this time for my family has been and so that you can't stand here today. I will also say that it is right a special prestige is for our campus, that this project is still going on, and that our campus is right die slag spreek vir studente deur studente implementeer al stare pandemie ons in die gesig. Ek wil vir my finaliste sê dankie vir julle harde werk. Ek het vir julle lief geword en ek wens elkeen van julle kon wen vanond. Ek los vir julle vanond met die slag spreek. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Van Nelson Mandela. Julle het al klaar so groot inpak in my lewe gemaakt en ek kan nie wacht om te sien wat julle volgende doen nie. Laaste wil ek nie dankie sê aan my ouwers. Ma, Esther en Paul Chris, julle is die liefde van my lewe en ek hoop ek kan julle vanond trots maak. Kijk pikke, kom ons sien wie jylle volgende meneer in Mevra Kamp is. Ok, so dames en heren, terwyl ek en Lisa so lekker skinner oor wie ons ding gaan wen, yes. wil ek net ons laaste judge bekend stel. Ja, oh, Siobhan Pereira. Pereira. <laughs> Siobhan Pereira, that was the surname. Interesting. Yes. Ok, so she's a young startup entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Um, 
Lag jy al weer sy lach altyd van my engels, daarom is in jyre, as hier die camera afgaan, gaan sy... So kan jy probeer. Ok, is an eco-friendly enthusiast, social entrepreneur and model. She co-owns an eco-friendly business called Root Products, which strives for sustainability and climate change. Currently a model at G3 Models and has worked with amazing brands such as Eckers and local designer Gert-Johan Kutsia, a Miss South Africa top 2020 top 35 finalist and the Umbrella Foundation ambassador. Her passion lies with creating a meaningful impact in the lives and those of others. Like a Siobhan! Wow! This Cheers is, op jou vrou! This is still a good CV. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Alright, and now we're going to talk to our guest, Mr. and Mrs. Kampus, Nico and Kenji. Aangezien hulle nou nie last walks kan heen, nie moet hulle nou maar last talk sê, Lisa. <laughs> Jy is snaaks. <laughs> ja. So, yes, let's give it up to Nico and KG. Cheers. Cheers. My beautiful NBE Pochefström, I, Kotata Sifike, would like to thank you for the privilege of having been your Miss Campus 2019. The road began rather playfully, but the journey was one of absolute endurance and one packed with many lessons. I'd honestly just like to thank my family and friends for the great support they gave me through it all. To Niku for being a wonderful partner, to the Secretary General family for being a people that gave us a space that allowed us to be ourselves. To the SR team, thank you for involving us in making Student Deliver an absolute experience for our campus. So the title taught me a lot of responsibility and it also taught me that it's all about service. It's about service to the campus. It's about service to its people. So Mr. and Ms. Campus 2020, note that this title is not one for yourself but as one for the people of the Northwest University, Pochestro. Serve them and you will have done an amazing job. And I can only hope that I was able to do that. I leave you with this. Be prepared to be selfless and enjoy it. Make it the most that you can and make it worthwhile. Make it meaningful. May the good Lord bless us all and may his hand forever be upon us. Masa hoke ao. What a term it has been. From supporting causes like the fight against domestic violence to even judging the SRCS canned food poiki course competition. It has been our privilege to be the face of the students through each of these events. And that is essentially what being Mr. or Miss Campus means. Jy moet die verteenwoordiger wees van alles wat die pik studentiteit uniek maak. We are part of the most welcoming, diverse, and success-driven student cultures in the country. And it is your role as Meneer of Meer for Campus, om seker te maak elke student en al jou ander campusse weer het. Jy het dan ook een project wat jy gaan moet aanpak. En weet jy wat, as jy kan sien, doen sommer vijf. Ons gedachte was om die kern van ons project op die studenten te hou en dan later uit te breid na die rest van die gemeenskap toe. Our project was fitness awareness and we aim to do three events. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, the last two events couldn't happen. But you guys have proven that this isn't a barrier for you. And I'm already proud of each and every one of you. And I really wish we could have gotten to know you guys better. So despite the hurdles you may face from the opposite, I urge you to see your project through to the end. And now for my Queen Khotatso. Thank you so much for the amazing term. You became more than a friend to me. You became like my little bit older and much wiser sister. Um, without you, the term wouldn't have been a success and it wouldn't have been nearly as fun. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And that was naturally also a very nice day in the term. We had a lot of fun to learn about the Dames Day, Gogha and Mesquite, and we had a lot of Kosthuis Skoonheids competitions. Door dit het ek vriende gemaakt met mense wat ek nie eers gedink het ek ooit sal ontmoet nie. And that is what I learned from this entire experience. Is firstly to not judge a book by its cover. And secondly, if you want to see change, you have to be persistent. 
It's James Watkins that said, A river cuts through rock not because of its power, but because of its persistence. If you are to succeed us, you're not just taking a title. You're being put in a leadership position. And you have to make sure the book students understand that. You have to stay relevant and prominent. In alle oor gaan op jou wees. Daar gaan mense wees wat net wacht vir jou om voet fout te sit. Nou ek weet jy is mens, maar hou dit net in gedachte. I'm proud of each and every one of you. And um, I really hope that you'll further your causes regardless of the outcome of this event. And I'll last things. Baie, baie sterke. Met die show, met die termijn, en met die rest van jou pik loop aan. Dit is een ongelooflike voorrecht. Wees jouself, wees vol saafvertrouwe en geniet het. Dank En nou, dames en heren, is dit tijd vir die wenners. Yeah, ek is excited. Ek is ook excited. Ek kort net een slikkie wijn hier. Ek, ja. I'm just right here dancing around to the rhythm, the rhythm that you play when you break in my heart. Well done aan die to- toonig contest, yes. dit was een goeie aand, ek het het geniet. Ek het het ook geniet, ek dink, kom ons vals my dadelijk aan die rol, en ons begin by meneer SGGD, en dit gaan aan Matthew Smith. Woo! My name is Matthew Smith, I'm 21 years of age, and this is my video. I had to choose a project with a very heavy subject matter. The project I have chosen to put my effort into is gender-based violence within the community. So coming to it in perspective, if my mother had to be abused in her own home, she would be able to go to any house that is allocated as a gender-based violence safe haven and get the support she needed. So your victim support units, as you have been working with hand in hand with the NGOs of our community? Your victim support unit was hand in hand with the community. This will be the overnight package. It contains soap, it contains necessities, clothes, and everything. So when a victim decides to leave, they do not have to think about anything to take with. I'm Anisha Lenner, she's the coordinator of the YCD. Thank you, Anisha Lenner, from Youth Crime Convention Desk. So, also, she's in partnership with South African Police. At this point, while speaking to Renisha and Johanna Christians, who's the mind behind the vape room at the SAPS in Plate, I realized that GBV was an outcry from the side of mental health in men. This was an act against women. This was my project. My project would empower those who wanted to help the community as well as those who needed help from the community. It would raise awareness of GBV throughout my entire community and the sustainability. Well, that's endless. In only a few weeks, I managed to recruit and set up six safe haven homes within my community. So it was born, a home to which victims could run, stay the night, and the following day be referred to to people such as Johanna and Renisha who would step in and help. Safe Haven became the middle ground for victims, an emergency home. I had to send a message in my community saying that there is no shame in being a victim, only in being the aggressor. Okay, done. Dan my jyfra is jy getee, is baie geluk aan Toanette Marie. Dank jy Toanette. Goeiedag, my naam is Toanette Marie en ek is die finalist van my leer in die Afrika Campus 2020. Oor die algemeen is al baie Suid-Afrikaanse gesinne wat het verkoord en basisse behoefte is, vir al tijdens die pandemie. Ek het ondervind dat die vlak van ondersteuning nie net wendig die saafde is, vir plattelandse behoeftiges as behoeftiges in die dorp nie. It is tragic and quite outrageous to think that people who produce the food in South Africa are those most likely to go hungry. And that is why I chose to do my first project on farm workers. I had the privilege to help and support 15 farm workers this month. My volgende 
preek is een baie speciale preek vir my. Sanfield Downs for China, huis vir gestrengers, is een plek baie na in my hart. Omdat Sanfield Downs een liefdadigheidsorganisatie is, is het soms vir hulle uitdaging om die nodige fondse te kry vir hulle basisse behoeftes. Daarom het ek het goed gedink om vir elke inwoner een masker te skenk vir in hierdie tijd. Meet is commonly one of the first grocery items to come off any household shopping list during times of financial stress. And unfortunately, this occurs too often for low income facilities, such as Sunfield Home. In order to have access to a regular and reliable source of protein, I approached New Way Poultry to donate 100 chickens to Sunfield Homes after every production cycle to ensure that they have a constant supply of meat every month and that contributes to the sustainability of my program. Dit meneer fotogenies en dit gaan aan Byron Kutsee. Don't show up, don't come out, don't start caring about me now. Walk away, you know how. Baie geluk. <laughs> My jyfra fotogenies of Mrs. Photogenic is Jurika Neetling. Meneer Persoonlijkheid en dit gaan aan Matthew Smith. <laughs> kijk na my, kijk na my, kijk na my, kijk na my vonde, vreemd seconde. Well kijk done Matthew en Miss Personality goes to Marika Joubert. Congratulations, cheers! Gelijk jylle, dis het Imagine goed. maar die sash. Ja, imagine maar. <laughs> ok, en ek denk, nou is het tyd. Het is tyd. It's that time. Are you ready, Lisa? Ek sê, ek sê, ek sê, ek Ok. Die tweede prinses is Mikela Smit! Woehoe, lekker Mikela! Dan die eerste prins is Marius van Rooyen! Woehoe! Lekker like Marius! Lekker like Marius! And then the first princess goes to Whitney Farmer! Lekker! En nou is dit tyd vir ons! It's the big reveal, ek so gestres, ek kan nou so gered hoor. Waar gaan jy een kry? Moe nie, moe nie dit antwoord nie, moe nie dit antwoord nie. Okay. In elk geval. Het jy kijk nou, eerst mooi, okay. het jy dit in jou kop? Ek het om. Ok. okay. Dames en heren, meneer Campus 2020, ja, as was? Nie, ek nie. Nie, nie, is Matthew Smith! Marcel! En my jyfrou campus vir 2020, ladies and gentlemen, goes to, not you Lisa, Kaylee Potgieters! <laughs> aan al die wenners. Baie dankie dat jullie allemaal gekyk het. As jullie nog wil sien van ons wenners, gaan nou oor na die Instagram page om van hulle iets te oor. 
congratulations to everybody. I'm so excited for you and I'm excited how you're gonna take this next step. And this is all. This is all from my account of Aquas Lisa Mehiro. And Aksi Rasmus Esterizen and Lisa Cheers down. Yeah.